Australia's olive oil industry has grown enormously over the past decade. It wasn't so long ago that you'd be hard pressed to find a local extra virgin olive oil on the supermarket shelf. Now they're a familiar sight in our shopping baskets. But it hasn't been an easy road. Australia's largest and some would say most successful producer has had to withstand the collapse of Timber Corp, sceptical banks and an unregulated global industry where oils aren't always oils. If you had have said to me three years ago what's the worst thing that can happen to Boundary Bend, I would have said Timber Corp going broke and if you said to me now what's the the best thing that could happen to Boundary Band, I would have said Timber Corp going broke. Rob McGavin and Paul Riordan planted their first 200 hectares of olive trees on the banks of the Murray River in 1999. The trees are very easy to grow, they'll grow almost anywhere, but making them fruit consistently and producing good quality oil is, is reasonably difficult. Boundary Bend is known for turning a production method thousands of years old on its head. We're the first people in the world who have really been able to develop a mechanical harvester that can really take the fruit off in a short period of time and get it through to the processing plant. Obviously with extra virgin olive oil, fresher is better. The capital cost is high, but it reduces the cost of production a lot. And now we've got almost 6,300 hectares of, of irrigated trees. So that's roughly two and a half million trees. We produce about 10 million litres of extra virgin olive oil and our turnover is around $50 million. That success led Timber Corp to contract Boundary Bend to manage its ailing groves. But then the agribusiness collapsed. There was MIS growers who owned the fruit and then there was the landholder being Timber Corp which was in administration. We were there as the operator with the equipment and the staff um, but no one to pay us. It was an awfully difficult six months. There was numerous issues, not only with our own bank, but with you know, the general situation at the time of just working through the courts and, and the complexities of the financial structure that was in place at the time. I mean, it's not an experience I really would like to go through again. Boundary Bend ended up buying the Timber Corp groves. We paid $60 million for the olive groves. Um, we on sold the water for $50 million and leased it back and we raised $20 million in equity for working capital. The banks were reluctant to get involved. We're pretty much a new industry and although we're confident of our future and we know what we're doing, they can't compare us with anyone else. But Rob McGavin says the Timbercorp acquisition is a defining moment. We're now absolutely in control of our own destiny. We, we own all of the grows, we own all the processing plants and we can really restructure a company to be efficient in every way. The latest expansion has come at a tough time. Yeah, look, the, the price of olive oil at the moment is at historical lows and the Australian dollar's high, so all producers, not only here in Australia, but globally are doing it really, really tough. Keeping prices low is the large amount of European olive oil falsely sold as extra virgin. It's either got refined olive oil blended in with it or it's got other seed products. You know, or in some cases it's so old it's not extra virgin anymore. Yeah, I mean, it means the global market uh, uh, remains soft, but you know, I, I've got confidence there's a little bit of momentum in some major consuming companies that are really seeing that they've been misled by you know, this problem of adulteration and mislabeling. Boundary Bend has welcomed the newly drafted Australian standards for local and overseas producers. We just want a level playing field. We think that a stand will go a long way towards getting more consumer trust in the segment. Rob McGavin is predicting Australia's recently discovered passion for olive oil will only deepen. People say butter is a great enhancer of, of flavour of food, but extra virgin olive oil is better. And I think the added benefit is that it's got great health benefits.